What's up everybody, Anthony here with another DG Weekly Disc Review video and giveaway for you guys. And this time we're going to be talking about the Claymore. Now as always, like I said, this is a review, but we also have Claymores on sale at DynamicDiscs.com. Using the coupon code Claymore15, Claymore15, you can save 15% on Opto Goldline and the out-of-production Frost Moonshine Claymores. Once again, from DynamicDiscs.com, that code is Claymore15. So jumping into the review here, the Claymore was actually first released way back, way back, way back in the 2014 Trilogy Challenge. The first year that we held the Trilogy Challenge, this was the mid-range that you got if you played in one of those. It's a fairly shallow mid-range. It's not super, super deep. It's not super wide. It does have a really comfortable feel in the hand. Not a ton of dome, but a nice, consistent, smooth dome. It does have a micro bead on there. If you're not a beaded person, if you don't like beads, you won't notice it, but it does have just, just a hint there along the bottom edge of the disc. For the flight, this thing is super, super versatile. You can use this thing for hyzers, straight shots, turnovers. You can use this thing if you're brand new to the sport or if you're a touring pro. If you throw just bombs, if you just rip drives and you're looking for something that'll hold straight, the Claymore will do that. On Heiser, I would get a little bit of a stand-up out of it, but nothing crazy. It wasn't going to flip and turn over on me. If I were to throw it flat, it would hold straight for ever, we'll say. <laughs> Just about ever. This thing is super, super straight, super glidey. And on turnovers, if I throw it high and don't give it a ton of power, it'll get a little bit of a fade out towards the end. But if you throw it low and if you throw it hard, this thing is going to consistently and smooth turn to the right the entire time that it's flying. Super great disc, one that I was genuinely extremely surprised by. When I played in a Trilogy Challenge way back in 2014, I remember this thing being a lot more understable than it is. I would put it somewhere between like an Evidence and an Emac Truth, similar to the Premac Truths. Um, I think it's a very straight kind of hyzer flip to flat and then get a little bit of a fade out mid-range. I think this is one that a lot of people should try out. I think this is one that a lot of people have room for in their bags. Speaking of people who have room for this disc in their bags, Mr. Eric Oakley, he has room for this disc in his bag. So let's check in with Eric and see why he throws the Claymore. What's up guys, Eric Oakley here, and I'm here to talk to you about the Claymore. This disc is an incredible part of my bag. It fills a slot that no other disc can. Falling between a Premac and maybe an Evidence or a Compass, it really, really, really works for me in that I can throw it with a little bit of hyzer, trust that it's gonna stand up to straight and stay straight. The glide on the Claymore is, is through the roof. It's an incredibly glidey disc, so you can trust that you don't have to throw it too hard and you're gonna get good distance out of it. This disc gets me out of trouble in the same way the Justice does, but in a complete opposite sense, where the Justice is super overstable and I can rely on it, where this is gonna get me through those tight wooded gaps and especially on those high turnover shots whenever I don't have a lot of room to reach back or throw and I can throw an easy controlled sidearm that flies from right to left and finishes flat sliding right up to the pin to save my birdie or par. The Claymore truly does pay more and check them out guys, be dynamic. So like Eric said guys, the Claymore pays more. So for the giveaway here, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments below, list all of the plastics on the Latitude 64 website that it says the Claymore is available in. You're gonna have to go to the Latitude website because it might say some out of production stuff. It might say some stuff that's coming. You never know. You're gonna have to go there and check and they have it listed out for all of the plastics that the Claymore is available in. That's it. Until next time, go get out and throw.